What's up, guys? How you doing? It's your homeboy, Cowboy Crunk, coming to you from Kabul. No, excuse me, I'm not in Kabul anymore. Shit, I'm recovering from last night, whether it's a hangover or it's a, it's a war room hangover. I don't freaking know because uh, it just wasn't real. Sorry, guys, I was not happy with what went down. I'm trying to decipher it. I'm trying to dig through all this research I did yesterday, uh, and it actually still helping me. All of this is, as you guys might, if you were on my live stream last night, I took every team and did every team's 30 visits, every team's senior bowl visits, every every team, not just the Cowboys, all 32 teams. I collectively put a list together of, of all of their visits. Matter of fact, I'll start with this one here. This is the Arizona Cardinals. They had a full page of 30 visits, local visits, uh, private visits, private workouts, uh, pro days. Uh, it took a while to throw this list together, and um, I did it for every team. And I did it so that I could see how many safeties Arizona Cardinals were looking at, how many safeties Indianapolis Colts were looking at, how many safeties the Oakland. I, I did it to project for safeties, but it, it actually works for every position. Uh, the fact is, right now, there are still hell a lot of safeties on the board that I think are upgrades for us. I think what they did is they went long term. They looked at this point we have not helped our team for 2019. I will tell you that right now. Both of the guys we drafted are not guys that are going to impact us in 2019 unless there are injuries on the guys we have there now. They'll be spot players. They'll they'll help a little bit. They're going to be on the depth chart. They're not going to be starters. They're not going to make immediate impacts. Where they do what it does is this will allow us uh, with the uh, Tristan Hill pick to release Malik Collins and not have to pay him. Uh, so that's a guy that he'll be able to fill in for. Hopefully, if it works out well, uh, this is going to push uh, Taco Charlton a little bit. He's going to have to step up. He's going to have to man up and start start doing his. And and this is actually why I'm saying he doesn't help us. Uh, Tristan Hill does not help us in 2019. I'm a little pissed about it. But I'm looking at the safety board this morning. I woke up. There's still a hell of a lot of safeties out there. Uh, we do have two picks in the fourth round today. Uh, I expect that to be. I'm going to talk out of my ass again like I was all day yesterday and for months and months and months that safety's at 58, safety's at 58. I think we would have had an elite safety at 58. I think we're going to get a very good safety, hopefully at 126. But I, I basically... I feel like an idiot doing the video because I feel like I have no clue what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but everything lined up for safety. Um, does that mean what I think happened is when those safeties did not come off the board at all, the Cowboys said, we can wait. You know, like, like I was saying, to me, this is like if you're cutting the grass and we had a lawnmower already, why did we get another lawnmower? I think we're good there. We need a weed eater. We should have got the weed eater. Now we're out there today. We're out there weed eating the, or, or edging the, the grass with that damn manual tool. I see some of the companies right here using that that cut the... Anyways, we need we need our safety. We need our weed eater. We've got lawn mowers. We've got the big tractors in the garage. We need we need something to, to, to cut the corners and get in these fine areas and, and make these tackles. I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but what I'm talking about... Uh, has nothing to do with football, <laughs> but it, that's the track that they've got me on. The Cowboys have got me off track completely to where I uh, hope the, the microphone is, is even uh, is picking up. I, I didn't adjust it or anything. I just plugged it in. Uh, but but um, yeah, all this work I did, it's still working out. Let me go through the list of safeties that are still available, guys. Uh, and, and I'm going to go their overall rank and their height. And I think one of the reasons this might have happened also is Chris Richard, as you guys saw, he wasn't even around the uh, war room very much. And they may be expecting to go a little later because the taller, lankier safeties are ranked for some reason a little, a little bit later in the draft. Um, Amani Hooker, as you guys know, is still there. He's overall 73 grade. So we're already into the 90s, and we still have some uh, Chauncey Garner Jr. Uh, he's 83. He's he's an overall he's overall the fifth safety uh, that I had uh, on on the paperwork I did, also on the computer the computer uh, research I did. Uh, he's overall ranked 83. 
We got um, Amani Hooker, who's the eighth safety uh, ranked on the board. He's ranked at 73. So from from uh, we have him graded as a 73. Excuse me. Uh, overall rank is 91. Overall rank on Chauncey Gardner Jr. is a 52. So he, we have a very good safety sitting there. I'm sure he will not be there when we get up there uh, to select uh, Deontay Thompson, six foot one, 195. Now this could be a guy that the Cowboys are looking at uh, because he fits the Christmas Richard mold. The jump from NFL, uh, from college to NFL, is dramatic. So the the way they look at some of these guys especially in the later round if he doesn't fit exactly what you're looking for he can be coached uh and a lot of these guys um can be coached coming from Alabama he should have come from a very solid background of uh you know of uh secondary coaches so i look at the smaller school guys as being a little more coachable than the big school guys but also the big school guys usually have more natural talent and uh more ability um uh, Marvel Tell uh, th the third. Um, he's he's got a 68 grade. Uh, he's the num number number 120th rank overall coming out of the draft. So we're still uh, at 120. Um, we're still got players on the board that should have been selected already. If you go by that, uh, then you got two Miami guys, uh, Jaquan Johnson out of Miami and Cedric Redwine. Those are safeties we've all talked about a little bit. Uh, 5'10 and 6 foot 196. I think Shedrick Redwine is a, is a player that the Cowboys could be looking at. Also, Mike Bell is out there. I don't even have him on this draft board. Uh, he was one of the ones that I, I somehow skipped over, but I like him as a safety. He's a solid hitting safety at a, at a Fresno State. 6 foot 2, 190. Uh, a little thin, but um, he, he's a big body, uh, a longer guy. He'll put weight on once he gets there. So hopefully, guys, this will work out. But, but what I see that we've done so far is not to help us this year. Those guys are not going to even challenge for a starting position. Uh, Antoine Woods, Malik Collins, uh, Hyde, those guys are, are in their, in, coming into their prime. Hyde is, is on his third year coming out of uh, Christian Covington. Got, we got guys in front of this that I uh, really just don't understand the pick. But uh, the Cowboys have draft, drafted well. We didn't understand the Leighton Van Der Etch pick last year, and it worked out fantastic. It was probably one of the biggest pickups in the draft. Uh, if you if you uh, also take a look at the Indianapolis Colts uh, that got that linebacker, uh, I can't remember his name right now, uh, but led, led the NFL in tackles. So... Um, Guys, it, it, we'll see what happens today. Uh, I'm psyched to check it out, but also I'm in, a little intimidated. I don't want to jump in there and start hoping for guys and wishing for guys. we got to realize there's 32 teams out there, and we're only one of those. So 31 other teams are also fighting and, and, and pulling for the same players. And when there's players left on the board, when you're looking for a safety and nobody's grabbing safeties, then you kind of sit back and go, well, whatever. But... You notice right after the Cowboys did our selection, uh, three of the safeties we were looking at came off the board immediately, and now the only one that's left is uh, Chauncey Gardner Jr. So uh, Rap came off the board, um, Savage was off the board a long time ago. Uh, what was the other? The other two guys came off the board. I, I, I'm still I'm still recovering from last night's tornado of a of especially the offensive lineman pick. I, I that pick I do not like. I don't like it at all. I understand it's going to allow you to release Lalo Collins, uh, move some guys around later, um, but I, I, I still it's it's a tough move for me when I think we could have had an immediate impact safety. I still think there's one on the board. There will be one on the board when we get to our pick, but uh, I would like to have had that done a little earlier. Uh, and and you know I'm not one of those guys that that waits around. I don't make a list. When I need something, I go get it. I don't make a list of, well, we'll get that later. We'll do this later. Let's move this around. No, I have work to do. I get it done. I knock it out. We should have got the safety. I think we made a mistake, uh, but but we'll see. Uh, we all thought that last year, and things turned out okay. So, Cowboy Crunk from my war room here in Magnolia, Texas, the Big Mag Nasty. Uh, peace out, guys. Enjoy the day. 
and let's let's get this safety and and get us a wide receiver this evening. Jalen Hurd is off the board. I knew that was going to happen, but I did not expect it at 68, man. That dude came off the board at 68. Before we even, if you would have told me Jalen Hurd will be off the board before we get a safety, I would have said, nah, something's wrong with you, man. I, I have a lot of faith in the guy, but shit, for, for, for him to go off the board to San Francisco at 68 was, was outstanding. That was really cool. So, all right, guys, take care. Peace out, Cowboy Crunk. I'm going to go get some things done, get this grass cut, and do some daddy-do's and some honey-do's. Peace.